Now, the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist David Wire, certified by the American Meteorological Society. Good afternoon, everybody. 11 minutes after the hour. How about it? A nice day today. A little on the warm side, but all in all, it's uh, been a very comfortable morning outside. We've got a few clouds out there, plenty of sunshine elsewhere. We've got Vincennes University Tower Cam. We're down south there in Knox County. Taking a look at the skies above, not too bad at all. And again, here up uh, farther to the north, the Vigo County Credit Union Tower Cam showing us that again, over the campus of Indiana State University, some shadows there because of some clouds, some sunshine on the top of your screen there. That's going to be on the western side of 3rd Street. And again, we've got some sunshine, some clouds, and as we head further down to the south on the, uh, well, south of downtown here anyway on the Newston traffic cam. That's down at US 41 in Spring Hill. Again, looking south, traffic moving all right, but again, you'll see a few of the clouds up there on the top of your screen. Hey, just a couple of them out there. It's still a very nice day. Let's run through some numbers. About 80 degrees for temperatures right now. It's 77 up in Evan or Indianapolis uh, at this hour. 78 in Bloomington, 81 in Robinson. Warm spot only at 82 degrees. And again, just a few clouds around. Not really taking over the skies, but we've got some cloud coverage. Over today. We mentioned that this morning it was going to be clear for a few hours and then really starting to cloud up uh, as we got late in the day, but still, you're going to have enough sunshine to, uh, I think, satisfy most of us. There are some thicker clouds in northern Illinois, but these thicker clouds are not rainmakers for us yet. Our next rainmaker is just to the north of us, also a rainmaker uh, out to the west of, say, Arkansas throughout Oklahoma and eastern Texas at this hour. That's going to stay basically south and west of us today. It'll stay south of us tomorrow and then south and east of us by Wednesday. But in the meantime, these clouds here again are of some concern. You look at these and you say, wait a minute, these are starting to grow a little bit. Are these going to give us any rain showers? Well, Futurecast has the answer for you and watch that clock go hour by hour. And again, it shows us some clouds. But no rain shower. So we're going to run with part of the cloudy for you today. Winds are out of the southwest. Did you notice the difference? Friday and Saturday, hot and muggy. We had scattered thunderstorms around as well. And then Sunday, all of a sudden, there was no rain in the forecast. The winds were out of the north, and it felt better outside yesterday. Well, we've changed that yet again today. We're back to a southerly component to the wind, a southwest wind about 10 miles per hour. It's starting to get a little bit muggy. Mid-80s will top out about 85 or 6. Rain showers look to stay north of us, well north of even Interstate 74. I think rain as far south as Interstate 74 this afternoon and overnight uh, is, is pushing in a little bit to bring that too far south. So I'm going to stay with partly cloudy this afternoon. We'll do the same for you overnight. And then as we get into the day tomorrow, quiet in the morning, but tomorrow afternoon is when we look to see our chances for rain. So count on rain tomorrow and count on that in the afternoon. We'll do mid-80s. Winds will be out of the west. That's at 4 p.m. there on a Tuesday. We have thunderstorms possible like we had back on Friday and Saturday. They're scattered about. We'll have that again late tomorrow night and into the day on Wednesday. Wednesday is the flip-flop. We've got rain in the morning, but not in the afternoon. Looks like it'll be a decent afternoon. And those temperatures, well, just like yesterday, it felt better yesterday than Sunday. Well, Wednesday afternoon and Thursday are going to feel better than today and tomorrow. So here we go. 85, partly cloudy and warmer. Winds are going to be out of the southwest today. No rain showers just yet. We'll hold those off until tomorrow. In the meantime, partly cloudy and 63 degrees tonight. 86 tomorrow with, again, a chance for more scattered thunder showers around with some rain showers tomorrow. Most of cloudy otherwise with a high of 86. Your next seven days actually. Actually, not too bad. It cools off a bit Wednesday, but remember the rain on Wednesday is contained in the morning. Quiet in the afternoon, Thursday and Friday comfortable. Back to being a little bit muggy as we get into the day on uh, Saturday and Sunday. It's going to feel a little more like summer, but as far as the, the dog days of summer, the hot, hot heat season, we haven't had that this summer. We really haven't. We had a stretch in June of a week full of 90 degree days, but mm -hmm. that's been about it. And you take off and it gets cool. and It gets cool and it's still nice today, so I'm taking credit for today. <laughs> take it. That's right. Take it. Well, the Ohio Valley Emmy Award Awards were presented in Lexington, Kentucky Saturday night. WTHI-TV earned two prestigious nominations this year, one for overall station excellence and the other for our continuous coverage of last June's flooding. Well, unfortunately, we did not bring home the gold in these two categories this year, but we are still celebrating those two big nominations. It was a lot of fun. It was great to be represented over there. You said that really fast. What were the two categories again? Station excellence. And, and we were up against Louisville. Yeah, big, big, big cities and big stations. And so I think